What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and I am back for another edition of Pizza Night. I bet you heard of Blaze Pizza. Mm-hmm. I bet you heard of Spinfire Pizza. Maybe, but I bet you never heard of the new trendy pizza joint in town. That's Pie 360, and I'm here to check it out right after this on Pizza Night. You are looking live at the Fox Chase Shopping Center on Duke Street in Alexandria, Virginia. I was just here a couple of weeks ago to check out Burger 7. Well, I'm here today to check out the third pizza restaurant that is in this particular shopping center. And that is now called Pie 360. And apparently it's kind of a fast casual type place. Uh, maybe almost like a Chipotle or a Subway. I'm not really sure. But the odd thing is, is it's right next to Papa John's. So you got two pizza restaurants literally right next to each other. Kind of weird, huh? Well, we'll find out how weird it is or how good it is right after this on Pizza Night. Had enough of turkey yet? Never fear. Pizza Night is here. So go ahead, grab that can of beer for Friday night, November the 25th, 2016. It's Black Friday, baby. You wouldn't believe the property taxes on this thing. You're probably right. Well, as you saw, I went to Pie 360 tonight. And Pie 360 has a slogan. That slogan is that every pizza is personal. So basically the pizza within here is very, very small. Um, it's a 10 inch pizza, in fact. And that 10 inch pizza costs $8.96. And it's a build your own. You get up to four toppings. Or if you look over here at their menu, they've got several specialty pizzas for right around the same price. $8.96 comes up to $9.50 after tax. So you can see they've got a carnivore, a buffalo chicken, a Greek, a four cheese, etc. They also make salads and wraps. And they've got banana pudding for some reason. But let's go ahead and take a look at the pizza that I got because I decided to build my own. Voila! There you go. So what I got is their traditional crust. They also have a wheat crust and they have a gluten-free crust for $3 more. Holy crap, $3 more. That's a lot of money for a 10-inch pizza, what, $11.96? Anyway, uh, I decided to get pepperoni, of course, because pepperoni goes on every pizza. I got crushed meatballs, I got bacon, and I got, as you can see, jalapenos. This is basically set up just like a Subway or a Chipotle. Uh, they put down the uh, ingredients as you ask them to, and uh, it's got reg regular mozzarella cheese on there, and they have a choice of three different uh, sauces, classic, which is kind of sweet apparently, signature, which is sweet and spicy, or spicy, which is the spicy. So I just decided to go with the spicy. So between the jalapenos and the spicy sauce, I think I'm going to have a good time with that tonight. All right, let me go ahead and see if I can pick up a 420 slice out of this thing, which is going to be kind of difficult. I'm not sure how well it was cut up. Hey, pretty well. Nope, not that well. Dragging a bit. There you go. Pulled it off, but I lost the jalapeno up front. It's got just enough flop on it, which I was kind of concerned about. I figured it'd be a real thin and crispy type, and in fact, the back is going to be thin and crispy. And look how black that crust is right there. I mean, that's kind of the end thing, I guess. You know, if you want it to look art artisanal, it's got to be kind of charred a little bit. And I believe they use a coal oven, so that's bound to happen with a thin crust like that. All right, guys, I'll be right back right after this to try out this personal pizza, and let you know if it's worth $8.96 and if you should get one right after this on Pizza Night. All right, gang, I am back, and I'm really dying to try this pizza. Now, some observations of the restaurant before I do. There wasn't anybody in there, really, other than a couple of fellas that were together waiting for their pizzas. That was it. Nobody else came in while I was there. They had a couple of folks uh, working behind the counter and then I guess a manager or an owner or something as well. They have a big red oven that has like a rotating dealy on it. So it's a really fast cook. Once they assemble it, which actually seemed to take longer than putting it in the oven and cooking it, it was like two minutes and it was done. 
Uh, beyond that, music was a little loud in there, so I had a hard time hearing the ladies behind the counter, and I think they had a hard time hearing me, but it looks like they got the pizza right, and that's all that counts, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that same 420 slice. I have uh, reinserted or reattached the jalapeno to it that fell off, so no harm, no foul there. Let me go ahead, oh wow, I didn't look at that before. Look at how dark that bottom is, man. That is pitch black. I hope that doesn't really taste like it looks. That's strange. Is it supposed to be like that, guys? I'm not that highbrow. I know how to raise my eyebrow, but I'm not that highbrow. So maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But I'll take a bite and find out right, at, right now. As I was taking a bite, uh, my lip kind of hit that jalapeno there and backed it up a bit. So I got to taste an adulterated taste of the sauce, and it is really spicy. But let me take another bite, and I'll let you know what I think with the jalapeno and with the sauce. All right, guys, this pizza is starting out on an uphill battle because of the price. At $8.96 for a 10-inch pizza, you're almost paying a dollar an inch there. And you can get a personal pie almost anywhere for like five bucks or less. So, you know, with that said, not the best value in town, but the ingredients do speak for themselves mostly. The crust tastes good despite being a little overcharged for my taste. Uh, it's got a good pizzeria flavor. Not that wild about the texture of it though. It's kind of dry and sandy, um, but not terribly so, just a little bit. It's got a little bit of dryness there, maybe over flowered, I don't know. Um, then you get to the sauce. The sauce is the star of the freaking show here, guys. That spicy sauce is something that you need to check out if you have one of these joints in your area. And right now they're only in Baltimore, Rockville, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and here in Alexandria. Uh, so it might be hard for some of you to find throughout the country. This is kind of localized, but, you know, I would actually travel to try this sauce. Uh, the cheese is standard. Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh, the pepperoni is fairly standard as well. It's okay, but it didn't crisp up or anything, so nothing real exciting there. Um, beyond that, what was on there? The bacon and the meatballs, right? Yeah. Bacon and the meatballs uh, were average. Uh, kind of an odd mealy texture to the meatballs, but a good flavor. And the bacon was not crispy at all. It was just kind of chunk, chunks of little fatty bacon with some flavor of bacon but not great just an average uh i kind of had that feeling when i saw the bacon it wasn't going to be fantastic but all that put together 896 sauce being the star of the show i uh, can't give it tremendous ratings i'm sorry i can see this being an interesting place to stop for lunch if you're actually going to eat there uh you know and you're with your office buddies or whatever and you know you're going to talk about the game and whatnot but beyond that it's not the type of pie you bring home for dinner in my opinion i'm gonna go ahead and give this a two-thirds thumbs up it's okay but a little expensive and a little lackluster on most of the toppings outside of the sauce for me me the bre from the snack food appreciation society anyway thanks for watching guys i'm actually not here right now i'm in uh, Fairfax at the Jewish Community Center checking out Nova Pro Wrestling. I hope you are too if you're in the area. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching and follow me on all the social medias, Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS. When you do, make sure you use the hashtag Snack Society so I know what you're talking about and you know what I'm talking about and I know what you're eating and you know what I'm eating and so on and so on and so on. And then join the SAS group on Facebook because that is 700 plus of the coolest people in the whole darn cotton picking world. So why haven't you joined yet? So like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Black Friday. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Small Business Saturdays tomorrow. Support your local businesses. Bye-bye.